Hi everyone, and let me start by introducing myself. My name is Dr. Agar Mizrahi, and I am the head of the Medical Directorate at the Ministry of Health. The Medical Directorate is the regulator and the policy maker of the healthcare system in Israel. As such, we are uh, the one who are responsible for patients' treatment and of course senior citizens' treatment. So I'm honored and excited to be the Ministry of Health representative who speaks about Rafael Eitan. Rafael Eitan was born in Encharod in 1926 and later moved with his family to a new settlement which we all know today as Ramat Hasharon. Rafi went to agricultural school and later to a higher degree at the London School of Economics. In 1944, Rafi joined the Haganah and the Palmach and led some of the most famous and courageous operations who were part of the struggle for building a Jewish state. After the foundation of the State of Israel, Rafi served as a, an internal intelligence agency, which was called the Shin Bet, and later became the coordinator for the Shabak and the Mossad. At that position, Rafi was the one who led and took part in some of the most triumphant operations for the State of Israel, including the capture of Adolf Eichmann. A few years after becoming a civilian, Rafi was called again by Menachem Begin, the Prime Minister, to become his special advisor on the matter of terrorism, and he continued to serve for his country. As I learned from one of the people who knew him personally, Yitzhak Barzilai, Rafi was an extraordinary person whose way of thinking was unique. And in a way, he was considered to be the one that simplified everything. During long hours of meetings and discussions of different ways of dealing with the security challenges of the State of Israel, Rafi would offer simplistic ideas, but ideas that no one else thought of or considered. During the 90s, Rafi and some other members have built a party called Dor and Gil, and later they run to the Knesset under the name the Pensioners of Israel, Gimlae Israel. Rafi became the first minister for senior citizens. And later that ministry became to be the Ministry for Social Equality. Putting senior citizens at the center of the governmental thoughts and interests, Rafi and his colleagues led to the understanding of both the importance of senior citizens in the building of these countries these, during the first year of years of our nation, as well as the understanding of the importance of creating better life for them and environments in terms of independence, healthcare and financial resilience. Our challenges today is to optimize aging in Israel. It is a complex challenge and in order to face it, we need many partners. Those partners come from different ministries, like the Ministry of Social Affairs, the Ministry of Finance, and of course, the Ministry of Social Equality. But we need also the help of other organizations, like the Joints and many other more, which I won't list due to time limits. All partners who joined up together in order to prevent deteriorations of elderly in terms of physical health and functionality. Israel is getting older and older. In a few years, the number of senior citizens will be doubled. We should build a better and supportive communities all around Israel and promote healthy lifestyle for elderly to make sure that the good, accurate healthcare system would enable full and better treatment for elderly. We also must make sure that after getting uh, uh, sick, we should uh, be uh, better and enable proper rehabilitation treatment and by preventing further deterioration in health for the elderly. The Ministry of Health and others should make sure that elderly stay at home and within the community as much as possible and prevent institutionalizing people. We also need to make sure that if and when needed, 
uh, uh, institutionalization, people would be treated at home, not at hospital. That is one of the major shifts and changes that the Ministry of Health is leading today. Thank you all for the time and I hope for an interesting conference and hope you all enjoy this day.